Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Learn Psychology series. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of psychological attributes, the building blocks of our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. But before we jump in, let's start with the basics. What exactly are we talking about? Imagine your personality as a complex recipe. Flour, sugar, spices, each ingredient plays a unique role in shaping the final product. Similarly, psychological attributes are the individual qualities that come together to define who we are. They encompass things like from personality traits like introversion or agreeableness, to mental skills like memory and problem solving. These attributes shape how we think, feel, and act. Think of them as building blocks of your unique mind. Some attributes are specific, like a knack for baking. Others, like intelligence, influence many aspects of life. This diversity makes us all fascinating individuals. Back in the 19th century, curiosity sparked. Sir Francis Galton wondered why we're all so different. His work on individual variability paved the way for modern psychology, including understanding these very attributes. Now, imagine raising a child. How you assert your role as a parent falls into different styles, like parenting styles. We've all heard of authoritative parents, setting clear expectations but being open to communication, but there are others. Authoritarian. Strict rules and little explanation, fostering obedience but potentially hindering independence. Permissive. Few rules and lots of freedom, nurturing creativity but risking lack of responsibility. Uninvolved. Disengaged and emotionally distant, leading to feelings of neglect and insecurity. Each style shapes a child's development differently. Authoritative parents tend to raise confident, responsible individuals, while the other styles can have mixed or negative effects. But remember, these are just broad categories. Every parent, every child, is unique. Fascinating, right? But wait, aren't we all complex beings who act differently in different situations? That's where things get interesting. Enter the nature versus nurture debate, or should we say, the personality traits versus situationism showdown. Personality traits are those enduring patterns like being outgoing or anxious. They're like your internal compass, guiding how you typically react. Remember, the confident kid in class and the shy one might switch places on stage. Unlikely, their innate traits would likely influence their responses even then. Now, situational factors are more like temporary detours. Imagine that confident kid giving a presentation in front of strangers. Suddenly, nervousness pops up. The situation triggered a different response. So, while traits offer a general guide, specific situations can influence behavior too. The truth is, it's not a battle. Most psychologists see it as a dance. Your personality traits set the dance moves, but the music playing, the situation, influences how you express them. Maybe the confident kid stumbles slightly during the presentation, but their core trait still shines through. Now let's zoom in on the different areas where these fascinating attributes play out. First up, the master brain. Intelligence. It's not just about book smarts, but about understanding the world, thinking critically, and solving problems like a champ. Whether you're dominating puzzles or outsmarting life's curveballs, intelligence shines through. Next, let's talk potential. Enter aptitude, your hidden talent waiting to be discovered. Maybe you have a natural knack for languages, music, or even sports. These underlying abilities lay the foundation for acquiring skills and becoming a master in your chosen domain. But what drives you to explore those talents? That's where interests step in. They're like your internal compass, guiding you towards activities that spark your curiosity and joy. Whether it's building robots or creating art, your interests fuel your passion and motivation. Now, what makes you, you? That's the magic of personality. From being outgoing and adventurous to introspective and thoughtful, these enduring characteristics color your unique approach to life. They shape how you interact, make decisions, and experience the world. Finally, let's not forget the values that guide our choices. These powerful beliefs about what's right and wrong act as your internal GPS, influencing your actions and shaping your relationships. From honesty and kindness to creativity and courage, your values define your moral compass. Remember, these domains don't work in isolation. They're like an intricate web, constantly influencing and interacting with each other. Your intelligence might unlock your musical aptitude, your personality might shape your values, and your interests could lead you to discover hidden talents. We've explored the building blocks of who we are, those fascinating psychological attributes. But how do we measure them? Enter the world of psychological assessment. Imagine you're trying to understand a complex machine. You wouldn't rely on just a glance, right? Similarly, psychologists use various tools to paint a complete picture of an individual's mind. Let's peek into the toolbox. Psychological tests. These objective, standardized measures assess things like intelligence, personality, or emotional states. Think IQ tests or personality inventories. Interviews. One-on-one -on -one conversations allow for in-depth exploration of thoughts, feelings, and experiences. They're like having a personalized Q&A with your mind. 
case studies. Imagine a deep dive into your life story. Case studies combine interviews, observations, and other data to create a rich understanding of your unique journey. Observations. Ever wonder how you act without realizing it? Observational methods capture your natural behavior in different settings, offering valuable insights. Self-reports. Who knows you better than you? Self-report measures allow you to share your own perspective on your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Remember, no single tool tells the whole story. Psychologists use a combination of these methods to create a comprehensive assessment. It's like piecing together a puzzle to fully understand the unique picture of you. So, are you curious to learn more about specific assessment methods? Do you have questions about how your own attributes might be assessed? Share your thoughts and spark the conversation in the comments. Remember, understanding psychological assessment is key to unlocking a deeper understanding of ourselves and others. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll dive into specific methods and explore their fascinating applications.